I hate the PUAs. The pickup artists are what I call a real black guy, a real black guy in the RP space. In my opinion, it's not the incels. It's not the incels. The incels, they get a bad rap. In my opinion, they're not even, I don't even consider, the incels are not even part of this space. They're actually anti RP. And I've done an, an analysis on that on one of my live streams recently. But pickup artists, when I say the PUAs, I mean the pickup artists. The pickup artists are the ones that are messing up the game. These guys that think they have game, right? Just approaching all types of trash garbage and then complaining about why the so-called trash and garbage think so highly about themselves is because you keep approaching. <laughs> you keep approaching them, right? Boosting their self-esteem. But shoot or shoot. You know, that's what I keep he keep hearing that. You know, that's why I, me personally, especially as I've grown older, chasing women is not it. That's not it. That, that, that's not it. Ch uh, chasing, uh, um, what, what's it called? Chase, like, like basing your, basing your, um, self-esteem over the validation of, of the woman or basically the woman that you want to, uh, that you want attracted to you. I think that's, that's pointless, especially if you're the average man. So right here we have this Twitter post right here from the rabbit guy. Well, I've seen a couple of his Twitter posts. Well, X, sorry, his X posts, right? And I like some of the stuff that he says, but I guess his Twitter, his his Twitter account made spiritual word. And here he says the concept of chasing women is so much funnier when you break it down. You're begging someone to let you spend your money on them. LMAO. Oh, and he says again, oh, and it doesn't matter how many ninjas already had her either still an honor. And he's obviously referring to, you know, body count and all that stuff. Right. And here you have a girl. Agree, agreeing with her, him saying applying pressure is a myth. A woman will follow a man behind a rock mountain if she likes you. And these are facts. These are facts. OK. In high school, I didn't notice there was this girl that I would walk with a lot of the times. And I just I didn't you know, at the time I wasn't looking for a girl. You know, I was all cut up in my own head. I was thinking about something else, <laughs> you know, um, mainly my sports and my music um, at that time. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll explain more of that when, I, when I'm going to when I'll talk about my sophomore year in high school, how vital that was um, in terms of my thinking process, you know, how I think about things. So these were the things I was thinking about. I was not even I was even thinking about women. My sophomore year of high school, <laughs> you know what I mean? But there was this girl that would talk to me all, all literally all attached to me all the time, even though I wasn't I never was looking for her, but I didn't mind having her around. But I never came. It never came across my mind that, oh, this girl really likes me. It never crossed my mind. But. Until I thought about it, like literally later on in life, I was like, oh, yeah, she actually liked <laughs> it because when similar happened. When a similar situation happened the following year, I picked up on, oh, this girl actually likes me. Then I, then I started thinking, about, oh, that means, shoot, that means that girl that was with me the <laughs> last year. She really, really was, you know, but I never picked up on it. Now, this is referring to this last tweet right here. If a, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you from, from, from experience. If a girl really likes you, it's not, you're not even going to, it's, you're not going to have to really try that hard. In my opinion, that that's just my opinion. Or if she wants me, me or I'm not even going to say like you. I'm just going to say if a girl wants to be with you, she's going to make it easy. It's not going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be it's not going to be that difficult if she if she wants to be with you. Now, that likes wanting to be with you and liking you, that that could be two separate things a lot of times. So you got to watch out for that. So I'm going to use the, 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 the statement if she wants to be with you to be with you. So that can mean a lot of things. But I'm just going to make it broad. If she wants to be with you, she's going to not make it that hard right so right here i'm gonna refer back to this tweet and i'm gonna talk about the pickup artists right here the pickup artists are messing up the game because they're telling young men who have no business <laughs> they're telling young men like they're, they're literally telling young men go out there talk to 100 women they, they literally I've, I've heard these these people say this talk to 100 women and you, you'll have a even the best pickup artists only have a 10 percent success rate. And you're just like, OK, what's the point of doing that? And then you see the woman that they're bragging on that they pull and you look at them and I'm literally like, I can get that woman <laughs> with <laughs> I'm li like even me, my five, seven self. Right. 
receding hairline and all. I can just go to the club with a hat and I can I can get that woman if I just literally just aim for that specific girl or a girl that specific. But I'm not even going to brag on it. <laughs> these guys approach. They, they really they really take it to heart. They're like, OK, I got to approach all these. Women. And they're literally wasting everybody's time. Meanwhile, they're gassing these 304s head up. Right. Because now if the average man even talks to the average woman, she's literally looking at him like because even you even have guys that are actually higher in sexual market value than they think they are. They are still approaching threes, twos <laughs> and fat women and all this stuff. And they're still approaching them like they're low value, like 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 high value men. Right. The, the term high value men. They're still approaching low value women like they're low value men themselves. And still approaching them like they don't have the options that they have and they're messing up the game and i'm gonna have to call out some people in this space i'm sorry you got these pickup artists like uh what's it uh, mr lucario who uh myron Gaines. well i don't know if he's if he would call himself a pua but he he really advocates for pua tactics and i'm just not behind that <laughs> right yeah myron Gaines with troy francis who else there's a, there's a lot there's a lot more people um to a lesser extent Rolo Tomasi but he's married but he still like he still uh praises the the pickup artist for for God knows I I don't know why um these these people who else <laughs> cuz they used to have a pickup artist show on MTV or VH1 I I I, I forgot um they <laughs> these people that made all those courses right <laughs> like these guys are scam artists almost of the mold of Umar Johnson right um they, I, I believe their tactics or the way they're teaching these dudes they don't understand they're messing up the game men are not supposed to be out here on thirst mode every time i go on like i don't even go on hoodville anymore you know why the comment section you know the instagram page hoodville which i used to love, like the comment section has been hijacked by attention seeking 304s and they're just literally they, they men don't realize this. they're just literally studying your <laughs> your stuff and they're like and, and they're peeping game and they're adjust adjusting their playbook right it will just be one girl will comment just a regular comment and you got ninjas underneath her things oh yo where you at uh, uh hit, hit me up in the dms like literally i'm just like she just made a regular you're, you're messing up the game <laughs> it's not supposed to be this way you got people you got especially with instagram you got celebrities Celebrity men, athletes, sliding in the DMs of average women. And it's just a smash, but in, in, in her mind, that's a W. And this reckless, I'm talking about this whole like reckless aban abandonment of men just chasing any, any, anything will go, anything will go. And they just like, they'll, and men are not turning down. <laughs> they, 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 they don't turn down. No, no, no three or fours. They don't really turn down women at all. I think and this reckless abandonment that i'm i'm seeing of men m messing with girls in wheelchairs I, i'm not lying about this stuff you can ask girls in wheelchairs they get smashed, right this whole reckless pursuit from even like high earning men of low tier women it's messing up the game it's messing up the game and i already know it's messing up the game because this is what happens this is what happens right because men don't turn the reason why i can i know that men don't be turning down women at all is if once the rare time if a guy like me or an average guy or a below average guy so i'll say like a below average guy like me or another below average guy like me if we turn down a woman because if a woman is approaching somebody like me that means she, in her mind she's doing me a favor so i turn her down and it's literally going to be world war three and the reason why it's world war three is not because it's just that she's in, insecure and, and stuff like that yes yeah yes yeah, yeah we get that but it's because dudes are not turning her down at all that means even because I, I, I saw a video um it was a girl in college who was largely obese ba ba badly built and everything she don't even have no, like she was just badly built and they were asking her her body count right and she kind of put her head down in shame right and the meme was basically it showed like a dog giving her a frown face basically meaning all basically all the dudes in the comments were like oh that's cap she ain't she ain't pulling nobody and I was like, these people don't know. <laughs> these guys, guys, I don't care how badly built that woman is. Dudes are smashing. I don't, I do not care if you think she's ugly. You think she's fat. You think she's too skinny. You think she's too tall or she's too short or she's a midget. 
dudes is smashing. They're not. Turn, I'm telling you, they're not because it'll be a girl like that that will approach a guy like me and I'll turn her down and they will go crazy. It's not because she's just insecure. It's because dudes are not turning her down. Even I'm talking about even the jocks. They're smashing messed up chicks like this on regular because people just think um, if you're like a certain status or certain height, oh, they're just messing with bad bitches. No, bad bitches are messing with rich men, <laughs> sugar daddies, right? Old men with money. Those who the bad bitches are usually mess, uh, uh, sexually getting sexually active with and some high value athletes, right? <laughs> but it's mostly just rich men or CEOs and stuff like that. They're fully financed. The guys that like I'm talking about the, the physically superior men, they're messing with fat women. They're messing with mid girls on the regular. And I'm just I'm talking about just cycling through them so much. So, so you, if you're the average man, you're thinking you're, you're, you're messing with a girl. Oh, let me approach this girl. She's at like my level where and she's literally looking, looking at you up and down or say she decides to give an average dude a chance and he turns her down and all of a sudden. Oh, he's gay. <laughs> you ever know? It's always like if you, if, she, if you turn her down, all of a sudden you're gay. <laughs> the reason why they're doing I don't even blame the woman anymore on that end because all, all women uh, deal with the insecurity problem. It's not just that. It's not just that they're insecure. It's because dudes are not turning them down. Them, them down. Dudes are just not turning down pussy. They're not. And this this reckless abandonment is messing up the game. And. I think men should exercise a, a level of some kind of some kind of discipline. And I struggle with that too. Tr trust, trust me. But it's crazy. Like, but me, I'm like at the lower totem pole and I already know me. I already know the consequences. So there's, there's certain things I just turn down. You, you have to turn down. But even guys of a higher stature, they're not turning down nothing. They're not turning down nothing. They're just like, oh, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I know the men, the man, a man's struggle is different, especially because in America, um, there's like a stigma of just outright buying sex that there's a so so there so guys most guys don't even want to do that so anything that they think that they can get for free they're just gonna they're just gonna take it even if it's a girl in a wheelchair yes you think i'm lying about this i'm not lying about this you know so i believe men need to exercise and easier said than done because i trust me i know especially a dude like me where opportunities are like very few and far between and if it wasn't for me being in music or being an athlete in my past, I'd have zero. I'm talking about my body count would be zero, but <laughs> men need to exercise some kind of discipline, some kind of level of, dude, I just can't just take anything because it's you're messing up the game. And on top of that, you're messing up your own self-esteem, especially if it's like an average girl or even a below average girl turning you down, right? Because you think she's underneath you or, oh, this is this mid girl, I can get her. And the more you just go on this reckless abandonment of approaching women and stuff like that, that pickup artist ish, <laughs> that pickup artist stuff. That's only going to ruin you in the long run. But that's that's just my my opinion on it. Let me look at some of the comments. He says you only chase things that are moving away from you instead of chasing just plant. Oh, Lord, <laughs> never chase, express interest. And if it's not reciprocated, move on. And that's the, the bottom line. I just just moving on, learn, understanding that really men have way more power than they think and at the end of the day your your abil a man's ability to move on that is the ultimate power and i don't understand why men don't don't don't, uh, don't get it but you know it is what it is <laughs> he said if y'all don't like women just date men problem solved oh lord here we go he said you got to apply pressure at some point to have the woman follow you and i will say this on that comment i think to some level men need to choose in terms of Men do need to be the first one to approach because if you leave it to women to approach men, it's only going to be a top. The top only the top percent of men are going to be <laughs> are going to be approached if you let women do the selecting. So I do believe that men do need to be the one to approach. But if you're just approaching this, this, this just reckless approach of anything, I don't believe in that. I, I don't believe in that. He said, y'all be trying to convince someone to like you instead of getting someone that just likes you, too. And these are facts. I always believe in this. You need to. It, I believe relationships work better, in my opinion, when it's the girl that really loves the guy. Way more than the guy actually likes the girl, if that makes sense, meaning she's head over heels for him and he likes her. 
that's for some reason i think that works i think that works i think that dynamic and even <laughs> and okay there's gonna be a lot of black dudes that don't like me for this because <laughs> dude, okay when well, out of all the interracial marriages and there's other factors that come in with this um the ones that the marriages in America that or even I think even in England, too, that last the longest are the marriages between white men and black women. The reason why it's the perfect power dynamic. Right. Even if people be like, oh, because the white dudes be simple, it doesn't matter if he's a simp. I, and, and I've seen even I'm even he, he could be the simpiest white man. It don't matter. The same level of power. Like the black black women can't pull that. Middle school BS, <laughs> you know, getting the authorities involved to keep his man her man in check like she can do even a rich black man right so the power dynamic still favors the white dude on that end so it's it's the so that that power dynamic that's one of the main reasons and there's other factors behind it i can i could do i could do a whole separate episode this might actually be my next episode why um black men specifically um struggle in interracial marriages particularly in america i can go over that but when we talk about those power dynamics this is why I believe the, the the power dynamic that works is if if the man if she puts the man first, the, like if the woman is putting the man first, this is where it's going to be a successful or better functioning relationship or marriage. That's just my opinion.